Hello everyone and welcome back. It's the back nine of round number two FPO action taking place out at Fountain Hills Disc Golf Course. Own Scoggins, your leader. Came into the day tied with Natalie Ryan, but right now she has a two-stroke advantage over her next closest competitor. Anakin Sten and Maria Oliva will round out our card and we're gonna head into the back nine as I said. A lot less water to contend with out here. It really doesn't come into play except for hole 18 or some other really errant shot. But 18 is the most likely place for it to come into play. We head over to hole number 10. Somewhat uphill, bending from left to right. Basket ultimately in this lower bowl recessed area. There's a mando you see. A tree up there with a sign wrapped on it. You must go to the left of the tree. And Maria bending it from left to right. I think it's going to be deep of the pin. And Natalie busting out the left-handed backhand drive. Which definitely sets up well for this hole. We have seen that a few other times in the past, but well, who did it better? Four, four, four. Well, looks like Anakin gets that one to flip up and, and finish off to the left side. So not quite taking advantage of that lefty hyzer that she has. And this is going to be low for own. The card moves up. Own. Going to pitch up right next to the basket. That's going to look like a par for her. Yeah. Had a chance to catch up with Anakin during the press conference at the Las Vegas Challenge and learned quite a few things, including that she throws a mixed bag. Also that she has some other professional athletics in her background, including figure skating. And she's going to be touring around quite a bit this year. I believe her very first U.S. visit will take her all the way through Jonesboro in April. Maria Oliva with the birdie here on 10. I don't have my stats in front of me just yet, but I'm pretty sure that's the lone birdie that hole number 10 saw here in our FPO division today. And yes, my recollection is correct. On a 23 women, Maria, the only birdie. Big thanks to our friends at Grip Equipment and the bags that they're making. Looking forward to working with them a little bit more this year. Hole 11, 368. Not often do we see birdies here on hole 11. And if there's ever a wind, it's usually directly in your face. So not exactly there for the assist. This needs to just flatten. And depending on if the guardian tree comes into play for her or not, we'll see if Maria has a look for birdie. Thanks. Natalie Ryan, deep of the pin. Same consideration, though. Will a tree come into play? Thank you. 
No shortage of feathered friends out here on the course. Owen, of course, never afraid to show us a little bit of emotion or excitement out there. That's going to be a pitch right next to the pin. Going to be a par for her. I'm not calling for any kind of jinx or anything, but I haven't seen any nasty rollaways on this hole in a while, which is definitely a good thing. Looks like the tree was directly in Natalie's way. About the same distance from the other side. Now we have Maria putting for birdie. So you're stretching out to the left. And this can get really dangerous. You're likely putting some kind of angle on the disc just to try and bend it around a tree and then if it were to hit the tree or the cage there is a high likelihood of something getting up and then rolling away that one hits and lands flat so maria is going to be okay but hole 11 is going to elude all women and all birdies here today not giving up any Played at 3.3 on the day, so nothing but pars or bogeys. Justin rolling that Zuka card around. sites to drop in teamdiscraft.com easy place to go pick up a ton of goodies all in one spot support some of your favorite team discraft players as we head down the hill on hole number 12 just 293 feet plays much shorter than that we're not seeing an elevated pin on this hole sometimes we have one on this particular hole when we're out here playing in this memorial championships layout Oh, and Maria, too much action on that one. So she's deep and will have an outside the circle putt to come back and try and save her par. Natalie also asking it to sit down, and that's going to check up. A little shoulder lean into that. <laughs> See if she can ring up an ace. Solid run. A sigh of relief there from Own. Maria giving it a solid bid, trying to save the par. geese or coots or whatever all entering into the water just behind own so Natalie's left with a birdie look she'll move to four under 
Hoing are within three of own. Remember, they both started off the day at five under par. That's what they shot during the opening round out here at Fountain Hills. And you hear all of the wildlife and then some out here on the course at the moment. Easy birdie pickup for Annika, and she's two under for the round and four under overall. Currently tied with Natalie. And Maria from short range doesn't connect. And even tentative on that comebacker. So Maria going to take a dreadful double bogey here on one of the easier holes. We'll see how she recovers because now we're going back up the hill on 13, 268 feet. I'm not going to say this is the easiest hole out here, but it feels as if it is. I think stats would be in our favor of being one of the easiest. If you're right-handed. Lefty actually has a little more bending to do, but a right-handed player can throw it out, swing it plenty wide, or go more direct. And again, the angle not even too bad for a lefty. Might not be stable enough. All right, I just checked with I'll just stay close. <laughs> the stat gurus, which is my phone. And sure enough, this actually is playing as the easiest hole on the course today. Hole 12, the previous hole, was the second easiest hole on the course. And the next hole, hole 14, somehow plays as the third easiest. So this little stretch of 13, 12, and 14, of course not in that order. Anakin is going to pick up another birdie. That's two in a row. Owen's going to answer with a birdie of her own. And I walked right into that one, didn't I? That was very unintentional. That's what happens when it's 3.52 in the morning. Natalie now for birdie. Somehow, well, dancing on the rim gets it to drop. And we're going to see three birdies. Well, it looks to be maybe even a star frame. Maria trying to close it out. She has that low swing when she comes through. So putting to an elevated basket uphill doesn't really probably feel comfortable for her, but it doesn't matter because she's going to complete the star frame. Nice work. Speaking of work, 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 right over to that uh, shop.thediscgolfguy.com. I've got all the latest releases. I don't have any of my collectible goodies out there necessarily, but if you want to buy boxes, my disc in a box, you want to buy a hat. I've had a lot of comments coming in about my hats lately. So if you want to go check out some action, you can do so. Of course, latest disc craft drops and all the other major manufacturers. We're going to continue to fill up that website for you. Did I mention double G jerky? It's there. Thanks. Thanks. Okay. 
Nice forward skip there for Onikin. It's going to give her a look for birdie. That feels like the range we saw Owen actually capitalize on a look yesterday. She canned a big birdie putt here. She did on both holes 12 and 14 yesterday. And there's only so much scoring that Owen is going to be able to do. She knows some of her distance limitations. It's going to be nearly impossible for her to pick up a birdie on 15. She's not getting to 17, and 18's a bonus for her as well. So Owen has to take advantage due to some distance limitations of a few of these final holes before she closes out. 11-meter look here for Natalie. And on the pole. Some of you have asked, so I'm just going to put it out there. Natalie, yes, eligible to play in A-tier events and below. Of course, there's an entire conversation that has taken place, and quite honestly, I'm not here to have a debate about it as we're watching Maria Oliva just barely get that one over the edge. If you feel like you need to talk anything about the future of FPO, MPO, trans disc golfers, whatever the case might be, I'm all about the conversation. I just ask that you keep it civil and humane. And look at the putting here on 14. Three birdie putts. And Anakin will have some work to do to save her par. Exploring all options and apparently nothing's jumping out at her is really favorable. I can't say how enough how impressive this is. There were three birdies on this hole today for the entire FPO division, and you just saw all three of them. I started playing disc golf with my family when I was eight years old. When I was 16, I got my first job as a cook at a bowling alley, and that's when I made my first batch beef jerky. As I got better at throwing, I also got better at making beef jerky. Everyone told me they love my jerky. After 15 years of making my beef jerky as a hobby, I decided to make it available to everyone. Double G Craft Jerky. Give it a try. You're going to love it. And you can also check out doublegjerky.com where they are offering up player packs. If you're a tournament director, a league director, reach out you can see what they offer for player packs they have more than just jerky there available and then of course anyone that uh, wants to just subscribe and have jerky sent to you you can do that as well you might even be running a discount code i think it's terry as a discount code Perfectly fine, as Justin says. <laughs> and just think, 24 hours ago, the, you saw how this hole was almost 
entirely underwater in this low-lying area. Certainly still moist out there on the course, but not anything like what we just saw the day before. In fact, this morning there was still standing water. You see that in the MPO action. High left side is safe. You carry much more and you could find out of bounds off that, to that side, but she's gonna be safe. Owen was ready to go. See a couple puppies up there looking for some distinguished doodle products. I know a website that could help out with that, the distinguishedoodle.com. So Natalie's actually just on the left side of the next tee pad. So when you're on that tee, you'll be going the opposite way. Like I said, there's not a lot of room over there before you can find an out of bounds line as well. And the putter, which has been doing so much work for Anakin, comes up just short on that effort. Speaking of efforts, I got to thank the entire crew. We've got, this is one of the largest productions that I try to put on each year is coming out here, here to the memorial. Got a handful of guys from the Midwest that all came in. We got a couple of local guys. Can't say enough about all of them running around each day, capturing all the footage. And then anyone that happens to join me for some commentary at whatever time it is, I very much appreciate it. Let's see if we can get Jamie back here in the booth, hopefully. On the MPO side, Gannon Burr. What? Gannon Burr in the booth. So Owen with the shortest drive is going to tap in for the shortest par. Or one of the easiest ones, at least. Just three left to play here out at Fountain Hills. Early Mando there on the right side, not really one you're thinking about. The one on the left is the one you might consider. And it mostly plays difficult for a left-handed thrower. We saw Anakin hit the left tree of the two and then scoop behind the Mando tree yesterday. So she had to throw from the drop zone with penalty. This hole, however, for a right-handed backhand thrower sets up pretty easy. Owen was worried for a moment, but that's going to give her a look. She drew great metal from circle two on this one yesterday. It looks like she might be a little bit closer today. Maria should have no problems with the distance here of hole 16. It's just a matter of angle, and that's hung out too wide. Beautiful drive there by Anakin. Own approved. And 
And she still does have pretty long range here on hole 16. Maria still giving it a bid. She's four under for today's round. Anakin two under for today. And doesn't pick up the birdie here. Owen also four under for her efforts today. Natalie currently one under, but has this very short look. Pushing into the sunset here on a Friday afternoon out in Fountain Hills. Temps a little warmer than they were the day before. Winds about the same, maybe a little bit more here in the late afternoon. But overall, cooler than what you would expect or what we typically see out here for this week of the Memorial Championship. I don't know, I'm from Wisconsin, so I'm not complaining. We're going to head over to hole 17, playing downhill back toward the fountain. Four sixty-eight. I'm going to say it plays less than that, but you're going to need a pretty big pull. The ground does slope down, even up toward the basket. That is safe. You can find the OB sidewalk on the far left side. If you were to go way past the basket, you could find the OB sidewalk deep, I suppose. Give me some more. I need 100 feet more. Just 100 feet more. That's all Owen's asking for. Oliva has the power to get there. Does she have the angle, though? That one's going to be short, but I think you give her 10 throws, she could probably put about eight of them inside the circle. Thinking back to yesterday when we saw Anakin out there with her mittens. And understandably so. Again, it was very chilly out there, especially in the early morning. Maria can see the basket, but that tree is almost perfectly in her way if she's coming in with a hyzer. Natalie has a look, but it's up and over, so at best, picking up a par here on 17. And if you've ever thought about how could you support the coverage, of course, all the sponsors that I have, let them know that you watched them or saw them on the Disc Golf Guy channel. Also, my Patreon account is really the best method overall. I run it differently than most other channels. It's only based on content that I actually put up. 
Some months are really busy, some aren't, but the best part is you can set a cap to it as we're watching Annika save her par. So if I'm really busy some month, I may put up a bunch of videos, and you may say, hey, I don't want to give you too much money. Well, you can just select whatever your contribution maximum is for any given month. And if I don't put up any videos, well, then there's no charge for anything. And speaking of charging, I may produce, say, 20 videos here at the memorial, but I will only, quote-unquote, charge for 10 of them. So it's not front and back. I'll post front and back, but I only have half of that actually go toward your contributions. If that's confusing, just go out to Patreon. You'll see what I'm talking about. Lots of par clean up here, aisle 17. A bonus, hole 18, 400 feet, 120 meters. Don't check that math, please. OB on the left side, of course, in the pond. And then on the high right side, you can also find out of bounds. So you can play it safe, just not too safe. And that stops before finding the sidewalk. Thought we might see a cut roll back down the hill, but that's going to stop just before the sidewalk. Own, recognizing exactly what her skill sets are and still playing to her best of her abilities with just those and comes in as the highest rated woman in the field. So certainly have to respect what she's doing out there. We see a lot of discs flip up for Anakin and stay too straight and this one Thankfully, with enough stability, is going to play it out over the water and find center fairway. Very well placed. Own flirting with a long birdie bid. <laughs> she said she just wanted to lay it out. So I know I've been pushing our friends over at the Distinguished Doodle. They're out of Arizona. They're so graciously supporting the channel and more importantly, supporting the health of your dog and all natural ingredients and organic and such. But that's what I want to know in the comments is, do you have a dog? I mean, I know you know people who do, but do you have a dog? Put that in the comments, whether you have a dog or not, maybe I'll help do a little bit of this uh, market research for our friends over there at Distinguished Doodle. That's what I need to know. That will also make you eligible. Heck, I think with this specific question, whether you do or not, doesn't matter. As long as you're answering it in the comments, make you eligible for a care package that we can send out from the Distinguished Doodle. How about we do that? I hope they're good with that. I, I just made up that promo on, on the spot here. And even if you don't, but you win this pack that I'm putting together, I know you know somebody who's got a dog that can benefit his own. It was a little shimmy. <laughs> Pretty sure the own shimmy is possibly already a thing. Yeah, it's got to be. Maria Leva is in for the par, and we're going to start to call it. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying all of the coverage. A little more than we can even handle, but we're glad to be doing so. Like, share, subscribe, do all the YouTube things. And we're going to see you at Vista Del Camino for round number three. Right now, Own is your leader. Rounding out this lead card for third round will include Natalie, Maria, and Anakin. Looks like the same four, slightly different scores. Love you guys. Appreciate you. We'll see you at Vista come Saturday.